Hello class, welcome to our holiday read aloud time. I'm really excited to read this story today to you. It actually has two of one of my favorite characters, Toot and Puddle. I don't know if you've ever heard of our friends Toot and Puddle before, but this book is called I'll Be Home for Christmas. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I'll Be Home for Christmas by Holly Hobby. Dear Puddle, I love family reunions. Great, great Aunt Peg is 100 years old today. Wait until you see what she gave me, your friend Toot. P.S. I'll be home for Christmas. My dear Toot, said the ancient aunt, this is for you. It is my lucky nut. Back in Woodcock Pucket, Puddle couldn't wait for two any longer. Christmas was only a few days away, and there was everything to do. This is a little things to do list. Puddle signed all the cards. Merry Christmas, blank, and Puddle. He left his space for two. He would have to wait until two returned before he could mail them. I'm getting ready for Christmas. Email. To puddle at woodcockpocket.com. Subject, Christmas. Puzz, Edinburgh is having an ice storm. All flights delayed. But don't decorate the tree without me. I'm on my way home. Somehow. Your pal too. P.S. I'm full of Christmas spirit. Meanwhile, at Woodcock Pucket, I'm going to make an all of this stuff. Fruitcake is one of Toot's favorite things, said Puddle. How many do you think we need? Tulip asked. Christmas Eve was only one day away. How can two possibly get home in time? Puddle said. He has to, said Tulip. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. It's on the plane. And they're singing. Look at all this snow. Oh my goodness. When two finally arrived in Boston, it was snowing and very late. Everything had come to a stop, even trains and buses and taxi cabs. I promised Puddle I'd be home tonight, Toot thought. Toot hiked far from the city. The night was cold and the snow was deep. He trudged on until at last he could go no further. Toot hugged himself to keep warm. There is a pocket he felt. In his pocket he felt the lucky nut. He'd forgotten all about that special gift. It's Christmas Eve, he thought. I wish I was home in Woodcock Pocket. Oh, he'd sit waiting for him. It's snowing so hard, Puddle said. It's beautiful, said Tulip. If only Toot were here. Toot was startled by a jing tinkling, jingling sound. As he peered into the dark, he saw a faint light coming toward him. It twinkled and flickered in the snowy light. Oh, who do you think it might be? We'll have to see. Where are you headed, Lottie? Woodcock Pucket said Toot. It's miles and miles from here. Climb aboard, the driver said. I know the way. The first snowfall had turned Woodcock Pucket into a sparkling wonderland. Everything was ready. Everything was perfect. But where was his friend? Then, I'm home! You are! You're finally here! Toot told his friends of his adventure and how he finally got back to Woodcock Pucket. I loved the sleigh ride, he said. It felt like we were flying. I wonder who that driver was, said Puddle. 
Let's hang this on the tree, said Toot. What is that? Tulip asked. It's beautiful, said Puddle. This is Great Great Aunt Peg's lucky nut, Toot told them. It wasn't easy to fall asleep on Christmas Eve. Two, Puddle said. Do you hear a jingling sound? Toot listened. Maybe. I think I definitely hear something, said Puddle. Then I think we'd better go to sleep, Toot said. Right away, Puddle agreed. I'll count to 20. But before Puddle counted to 10, he and his friend were fast asleep. When they wake up, it will be Christmas. So he made it home after all. I'll be home for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed the book as much as I do. I'll see you tomorrow for another read aloud.